Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome to Smarter Every Day. Today, no. <laughs> Welcome to the Slingshot Channel. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, today I've been taken over by Germans. We're going to look at slingshots today. The physics of slingshots. So why do they call your channel the Slingshot Channel? I don't understand. You know, I don't understand either. <laughs> I, you know, I, you would think they would call it the Nice Guys Channel or something like that. So what, no, they call it the Slingshot Channel. <laughs> I think it makes sense. <laughs> We're going to talk about the energy use in bands. Do you want to say anything about it? Yes, well, this is of course the lightest slingshot that I've ever built. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly, it's actually the most powerful one. The energy of a, of a rifle shot and it has the momentum of a sledgehammer. All right, so we'll do the math and see if Jorg is right. So let's <laughs> look at the physics of slingshots. <laughs> Kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. For a 22, it's about 153 joules, but for a Springfield 30-06, it's 3,841 joules. I calculated momentum of a sledgehammer by smashing bricks in the backyard and analyzing the high speed. It worked out to about 46 newton seconds. There is an angle between the band and the point of anchoring. Uh, this angle, I'm not going to get my hand in there because I don't want to die, but this angle, um, if you take the cosine of that angle, that is the amount of force going into accelerating the projectile. So the closer the bands, the more efficient the slingshot. Is that correct, York? Yes, exactly. Yeah, this is as awesome as it looks. <laughs> so because it's rather cold now, and also we kept the bands in drawn out condition for quite a while, the shot went lower a little bit because the rubber was a little bit tired already, and in cold weather rubber doesn't work as well as in hot temperatures. So. Ah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. It was almost a complete momentum transfer between that ball and the wood. The, the mass times velocity of the ball went all into the wood, so the mass times the velocity of the wood after the shot would be equal to the ball. So maybe the class of our direction. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Destin and you are getting smarter every day and if you want to go check out Jorg's channel, the Slingshot channel. Yeah? Yes. Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll put a link for you to click so go look at his channel and if you like it subscribe. That's it. Bye. <laughs> this is the only Slingshot that I've ever built that makes grown men giggle like these small girls. <laughs> 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 okay, slingshots are all about turning potential energy into kinetic energy. So the first thing we have to do is we have to build up the potential energy. So Jorg is doing that now with his tissy device. <laughs> uh, that translates, right? <laughs> Pretty much. And I'll soon be done here, so... <laughs> so I'll have to start running. Uh, so, this is a very, very large steel ball clasped here between the dowels, and we're going to try to destroy this pumpkin. Uh, the pumpkin really has no chance. It's just a question of if we can hit it. 